Organ donation isn't something you're likely to think about in everyday life. That is, until you or someone you know needs an organ transplant. The fact is, more than 100,000 people are currently waiting for an organ transplant, and a new name is added to the waiting list every 10 minutes, including right here at home. If you've ever considered registering as an organ donor, but were hesitant because of common misconceptions, it's time to put your fears to rest. Here are a few of the biggest organ transplant myths. Myth number one. If I have a health emergency and my doctors are told that I'm an organ donor, they won't try as hard to save me. Fact. You can rest assured that your care providers are only concerned with providing the best care possible for you. Organ donation is never discussed or considered before a person is declared deceased and the people providing your care aren't the same individuals involved in organ and tissue transplant. Myth number two. If I decide to donate my organs, my family will be forced to pay for the transplant. Fact. While your family would still be responsible for funeral costs, your loved ones or estate would not be charged for organ and tissue donation procedures. Myth number three. My religion won't allow me to donate my organs. Fact. Organ donation is considered a charitable act that is approved by all major faiths. Myth number four. I've had a serious illness in the past, and I'm probably too old to donate anyway. Fact. Recent transplant advances mean more people of all ages and medical histories are now eligible to be donors. All you need to do is sign up to be an organ and tissue donor on your driver's license or other official donor document and let your family know your wishes. Now that you're armed with the truth about organ donation, consider the impact you could have if you decide to become a donor. You could give someone else a second chance. Want to learn more? Visit BaylorHealth.com transplant or DonateLifeTexas.org.